Hey guys, we are going to go over um, and show you a POC or proof of concept of the uh, CVE 2021-41773, which is a path traversal, zero day in Apache HTTP server. Uh, and this one just came out uh, public recently. Uh, but it was being exploited in the wild and you know, there's a lot of servers that are, are actually running Apache um, I believe that the version that is vulnerable is a version 2.4.49 This one right here um, So I'm going to basically show you um, How you can um, do a POC so you can um, just show you how it works and how easily it is to um, basically exploit this um, it's not really really crazy but you know it could lead to some other exploits uh, uh, or it could lead to you know like brute forcing and stuff like that because um, you are going to be able to read the Etsy password um, so and as you can see over here um, Tenable has a good article here which tells you how many devices have um, install the 2.4.49 of the uh, Apache version which is the one that is vulnerable and you can see um, there are 11 um, so 111,940 I think I said that right yep so there's 43,000 in the United States um, 12,000 in Germany 9,000 in Canada France you know there's a lot and you can see it, it even tells you um, the ports that they are running. Um, 80, port 80, uh, 443, right? The UTPS, 8443, 8181, 8080. Um, so I'm going to show you how this um, how this works. So I have it running. Um, I have a Docker um, image that I was able to, uh, that, that I found, um, which has version, um, 2.4.49 that's the one that is uh, vulnerable so and it is in let me see what's uh, the IP because I have it running on my host and I'm going to take a look at it from my pirate OS machine uh, my IP for that one got over here all right so let's go ahead and take a look. Let's see if we are, I'm able to ping it. Yep, I have it in there. So now the port that I'm interested is on port 8080. That's where I have it running. You can see it works, cool. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the source. Um, nothing here. Now let's go ahead and do a, just do a quick end map. Um, we are going to run um, scripts on it and actually it's going to report 8080 and we can specify that IP address and I actually like it even though it's only one port so we are doing an nmap script on it see what we can find and you can see it right here uh, port 8080 HTTP Apache HTTP HTTPD 2.4.49 Unix. You can see the methods. Um, get post options head trace. No no put. So you know looking good. So how can we exploit this? Well, you can either um, do a curl, um, and with the curl um, you can specify um, the path traversal, um, and from there. Uh, what you could do is uh, you can get to or navigate to basically different locations in that Linux, right? So let's go ahead. Let, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do a curl. So we're going to do a curl, and it's going to be going. Um, let's put this in quotes to 192.168.1.96 that and in port 8080, right? And now. This is when we need to start doing the path traversal. Um, and for this one, we first need to go into CGI bin. 
right? I have it over here, so I don't need to, I can just paste it. So we need to go into CGI bin. Let's see if we can, um, okay, CGI bin. Let me take a look at this and see if that file, we can get it from over here, if not. Oh, no, not found, okay. So what if we request that from the browser? What, do we get that information? I haven't done it yet, nothing. So if you get it from, which is really funny. So if you actually try to request it from here, you don't get anything. So let's go ahead and try to do it from curl. You can see over here um, that it is actually being um, executed. So as you can see, we, are, we were able to read the Etsy password, um, which is the one that contains all the username. So from here, what an attacker could do is they could see uh, whenever they find a user in here, right? Uh, what, what they could do after this is try to get into their home directory. And in the home directory, they can try to get into, see if they can read an SSH key. And if they can read the SSH key, boom, they're going to have SSH access um, to, to this box. So that's something that I look at. Um, and also you can do a brute force attack if SSH is open. You know, some some stuff that, 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 that they might do. So this is why it's really, um, it's really a, a good find, um, and it is. You should really be patching to um, the the version of 2.4.50, right? Because the version 2.4.49 is the one that is um, uh, vulnerable. So there we go. Oh, and let's see if we can go to other um, files. So you can see we can get to groups over here. So let's see that we found the root file, right? So what we could do is uh, if we try to see or find. Um, you can do to home root and in root you can try to go to the dot ssh folder and then do the id all right save from over here uh, but there's nothing in there right so if you found like a user you could just put the user you know home um, the username uh, go to the ssh and see if you can find a dot uh, or see if you can find a, a private key in there and if you, if you can find a private key then you're going to be able to uh, access you're going to be able to access that um, the, the machine right through um, SSH. Uh, so this is why it's really important to you know to update or patch to the latest one. And I know I haven't been making videos. I guess the last video that I uploaded to my channel was six months ago, and that's because I started um, you know studying for the OSCP. Um, really crazy stuff uh, learning basically from zero um, learning a lot of stuff I've cried you know I've, t <laughs> I've been up all night trying to figure out a box I'm always on hack the box proving grounds um, try hack me so it, it's been really fun but I'm gonna try to upload more videos about you know the OSCP um, hack the box proving grounds and 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 different exploits that um, that come out. So these are for this video. And if you guys like these videos on exploits and how you can, you know, the proof of concept of, of the uh, exploit, um, just leave a comment below. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one.